This is my first trip to the Brownie Centre in Leeds. Um, and I basically, as the chair of UK Sport, I wanted to make sure that I'm not just someone who sits by the desk the whole time and gets told how things are doing. So I really wanted to get there, meet the different sports, meet the athletes, meet the performance directors, chief exec chairs, whoever's around at the time, the different coaches, and really find out what's happening on the ground. And obviously the, the, the Brownie Centre is a very new centre for high performance sport and I wanted to come and see it for myself. I think great training centres make a massive difference to high performance athletes. I've been really lucky in, in my career as an athlete to have had some great places to train and also places that, that bring together a variety of athletes and coaches and they can really, you kind, of, you kind of work off each other so everyone raises each other's standards and I think having somewhere like the Brownlee Centre which is so impressive and so sort of just designed and built for athletes to do the sport, I think it raises your own standards, you sort of come here knowing um, it's got an incredible history behind it of why it's named after the Brownies and, and who comes here and trains here. So every sort of ongoing athletes and coaches who come here know that there's an there's amazing sort of legacy behind it to live up to. And also it's inspiring. It's an inspiring place to come and, and try and achieve your best. I think we're always trying to find ways to... Um, for, for every new generation coming through to keep keep that high levels of inspiration, of excitement, of challenge, of performance. Um, and I think having having centres like this are inspiring, they're just inspiring by their nature. And I think every, every certainly every younger generation I speak to, all the new sort of up and coming athletes, they're they're always so ambitious. You know, they, they know what's gone before them, they know the great success that British sport has seen in, in recent years. Um, and they sort of want to add to that and most of them want to better it even further. So there's this constant search to how to constantly improve and, and move forward and move on to better things than even has gone before. And that's why great, great people and, and great places create that opportunity to make things even more than has gone before. Um, as an ex-rower, uh, a, lot, a lot of athletes I've known who's gone from rowing have moved into triathlon, not, not in the sort of serious international level, um, but across, uh, they're all quite competitive people still that I've ever rowed with, and they actually find the move to, to triathlon a really attractive move, and also um, a fair few of them are very good at it. Uh, so I, it has been suggested to me um, more than once. But uh, at the moment, I'm not finding much time to do much in my life apart from this job. So I'd love to do it at some point. I've obviously, I've done the individual elements all separately sort of in different parts of my life, but I've never put them together.